you want to buy a Toyota, but you feel like it's not enough for you. I mean, the quality is not enough. What do you do? But you still want to have advantage of having that amazing full hybrid system from Toyota. What would you do? I have the perfect option for you, Lexus. And today I have an amazing car. It's built kind of on the same platform. It comes with the same full hybrid system at Toyota Yaris Cross. It's about the brand new Lexus LBX, but the quality it's much more premium. It's the same engine and hybrid system, but it's improved and it has also kind of the same digital cockpit multimedia system but also it's better improved and also it has a head-up display better improved and when it comes to material quality in this lexus lbx it's just fabulous man and in this video we will do the full review interior exterior material quality multimedia everything i will try to explain you plus the technical data and at the end of this video you will find out everything about this lexus lbx from my point of view an amazing car i just drive it before if you want to see the test drive video check it out because you will get a lot of useful information from driving feeling now guys if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out emil frey in Bern. i will leave the link in the description also on the screen if you want to buy the car test drive the car i see the car check them out they are super nice by the way the price in Switzerland start at 35,900 francs for this LBX but the version that we have right here it's starting at 44,400 francs and it will go with all these options up to 53,040 francs here at Emil Frey and it comes optional with color the color 1200 the premium package 3490 francs advanced pack 1390 francs and this is the launch package LX 2560 francs but basically what we have in this car it's it's almost a full car. I mean, you have adaptive cruise control, autopilot, multimedia system, head-up display, digital cockpit. You have high quality materials almost everywhere. So you have this Alcantara here on the side, on the armrest, on the seats, on the dashboard that you will see in a second, super, super good quality. So even though it has the same full hybrid system, but here a little bit more improved on the Lexus LBX, as Toyota Yaris Cross if you feel like you don't want to go with that version and you want something premium but with the same advantage of super reliable hybrid system now you have an option and this car it's really interesting if you want to cross over small SUV for the city now let's go to the technical data weight of the car 1390 kilograms 4.6 liter estimated consumption 104 co2 grams emission the car come with a 1.5 liter three cylinders in line combined with one electric motor integrated into the transmission it comes with the ECVT automatic transmission total power of the car 136 horsepower 185 Newton meters top speed of the car 170 km per hour 0 to 109.2 seconds estimated consumption as you saw before around 4.6 liters trunk space 332 liters and if you fold down the seats completely it will go up to 994 liters the battery of the car because it's a full hybrid system it's a one kilowatt hour battery it's a nickel metal hybrid battery and is located under the rear seats the electric motor power 94 horsepower and it's integrated into the transmission fuel tank capacity 36 liters drag coefficiency 0.34 ground clearance 22 centimeters and the turning circle 10.4 meters it comes with independent type mcpherson suspension on the front and torsion bar on the rear ventilated brake disc on the front and simple brake disc on the rear and the car come with 18 inch wheels so those are the most important information about this lexus lbs now let's go outside to start the full review we will talk about the exterior interior multimedia and in the end we will take the conclusion together so let's do it guys this is the key the same key as lexus use it also on other cars what you can do with the key you can unlock the trunk because it didn't come with automatic lift gate on the trunk you just can unlock it other than that two buttons lock and unlock the car but the impressive thing it is 
What I noticed a little bit earlier, guys, this car is incredible. Just let me put the key in a pocket, just like that, and check this out. This is the best keyless entrance I ever tested. Look at this, the car is locked, and I just come, it's like instantaneous. Look at this. Man, it's crazy. It's like the car was never locked. You can lock it by putting your finger there. Check this out one more time. Look at this. <laughs> Shit, it's so fast, man. It's the best. I mean, I tried so many cars. Even the most expensive cars on the market didn't have such a good keyless entrance. And the quality around here, you have rubber, rubber, a lot of rubbers and good quality. When you close the door, it sounds lovely nice sound and also in the back the same story you have a button here you put the, the, the hand and it's lock and unlock super fast great job love that as i said before the car it's basically built on the same platform as toyota yaris cross is built and the difference are that i know there are so many people that those don't like that shape of toyota yaris cross because it's a little bit bulky it's a little bit strange in looking but now you have another option it comes with the same full hybrid system same incredible full hybrid system although it's more improved than on the Yaris Cross and also you have this beautiful design because LBX from my point of view look much nicer it has much nicer uh, looking front end it has much nicer side and back end I think it's a really attractive car and the quality around and inside the car it's incredible it's a really premium car and I definitely definitely like the way it looks and yeah with this hybrid system it's it's a complete car so now you have another option to get a very good car and let's don't forget that Lexus and Toyota in general are one of that brands that have the most reliable cars plus what it says here crazy right 10 years warranty it's it's, it's insane I mean really good cars I, I definitely if you ask me about buying a reliable car I will definitely recommend you buying a Lexus or a Toyota. And yeah, definitely it looks good also from the exterior. I like the fact that it keeps a little bit of chrome around the windows, around the upper side of the windows. Also here on the bumper in the back, a little bit of gray, the Lexus on the back and also LBX, it's right in this chrome. And it's a nice contrast and combination between the rims 18 inch rims that looks quite fine on the car uh, with this chrome i think it fits quite nice also the color the black the glossy the black matte and also the front end with a little bit of gray right there the lines between the headlamps and also a little bit of gray on the down part on the fog lamps make the car look quite quite nice i definitely like the design really like it and really look premium when you look from outside you can see the roof area it's in black glossy then you have also black everywhere on the roof plus the radio antenna it's in black glossy you have this roof spoiler extended in the back with a little bit of piano black here it's really nice the way it comes on the back it really look fine here you have tinted windows on the rear, tinted windows on the side. Even here in this area, you have this black that blend quite nice with the window. Here you have tinted windows on the B pillar, chrome design on the upper side. Now here you have the wiper, brake light, LED lights, and then in the back, LED light, tail lights with this light that comes across the back of the car that looks really nice these days it's a trend to have this led light to go across the back of the car led light turning signals reverse light it's led and the fog lamp here it's led light so from this point of view it's really good six sensors for parking and all that safety features because the car comes with so many safety features we will talk about that when we will go inside here you have some gray chrome i should say and then some nice element kind of sporty element no exhaust pipes of course these days here you have some light reflectors on the both side but pretty straightforward this design on the down part of the bumper so really interesting and unique reverse camera down here you have led lights on the number plate and uh, a little bit higher you saw this before lexus and lbx writing now here on the driver's side you have also the tank let me show you you open it up from uh, here you open the front and here 
is the button to open this. And this is the way it looks. Pretty simple, yeah, and useful. Look at the handles, they are so, so fancy and they don't move from here, they are fixed. But here you have a button inside, here is the button and you saw before how they work. They look really nice and the combination with black, same color as the car and black glossy down, uh, it fit nice. I like very much that they add those protection, plastic protection around the wheels. Also, it's a little bit extended in this area. And the thing is that they stop around here. So in the back, maybe it's not a problem. Down here, it's great that on the down skirt, we have the same plastic protections. The thing is here, because they stop this protection around this area, I really recommend you to add some paint protection film in this area here to protect the paint in time. That will be useful, even though you have some plastic here. Yeah, I would definitely recommend to protect this area. Otherwise, very useful because they put this plastic around everywhere. And also it's a little bit extended. So if you scratch it, you don't have to worry about the paint. So that's a good thing. It comes with 18 inch wheels, very nice wheels. It fit quite nice with the car. It comes with ventilated brake discs on the front and on the rear, uh, it comes with normal brake discs. So otherwise, I pretty much like it. I think the 18 inch wheels look super, super spectacular on the car. And it looks a little bit sportier. Look at this angle. The sportier look also the front end of the car. That's quite spectacular with those lines look really interesting. Also the matrix LED light, turning signal LED light, and daytime running light. It will transform this area here. So super, super nice from the point of view of lighting. You're good to go. And also on the downside, if you look down here, you have the fog lamp that are also LED light with a little bit of gray here. And then my favorite part on the front is this grill. They keep this strong looking grill from other Lexus model SUVs. That looks so, so nice with a little bit of gray dark you have here the front camera here is the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features but otherwise super nice super super unique and they keep that signature of a lexus so that's really cool inside we have just the radiator no active cooling or stuff like that it's just the air will go to radiator a little bit higher the same here in the front i like how they do this chrome that goes across between the headlights, some Tiano black, and then here we have the Lexus <laughs> uh, logo. Six sensors on the front as well, and yeah, otherwise, this is it. I'm, I'm really a little bit on the rush, that's why I tried to do the review a little bit faster, because I have only one, one hour and a half, but as soon as I get the car for more time, I will do even a better, more in-deep, uh, detailed review. Man, the mirrors are so interesting, they are so unique. Look at the shape of the mirrors. I never saw a mirror like that on other cars. They are so much extended for the, from the body of the car, but so interesting, the leg and the design, they are so, so unique and cool. You have LED light here for the turning signals. And then down here, you have the camera. You can see it right here. And here you have a very interesting design also on the mirror. And here you have the blind spot technology in the corner, engine bay. From here, you open it up just like that, super simple. And Let's go here in the front. You open it up just like that and you have a manual lift gate. But I like the fact that this is quite, quite light. It's not that heavy, so this is really good quality. This is the Lexus engine that looks quite nice. Incredible. I mean, 1.5 liter petrol engine combined with that electric motor and uh, full hybrid system. One of the best on the market for sure. I think this is one of the best, so definitely uh, love it. Yeah, this is the way it looks anyway. They put the signature right there on it. You have a button, you just press it. Ah, oh, by the way, it comes with automatic lift gate. I was wrong in the beginning of the video uh, when I tell you about the key that doesn't open the uh, lift gate, but it is an automatic lift gate. Up here, you have the lock and open the trunk. Also, you have the handle to close it if the electric part doesn't work. Other than that, you have the speaker up here. Plus, now new on the car, if I'm not wrong, it comes also with a great feature uh, that you can, uh, but I'm not sure about that. Anyway, it's great that the quality of the door is really good. Anyway. Here you have this protection for the trunk that I will take it out to show you how it looks. And this is the entrance. It's relatively big, 
pretty square entrance, you have some plastic at the entrance, you don't have a flat floor, that's the thing to keep in mind, but you have here maybe 20-25 centimeter deepness, those are the hooks in the corners, and down here, if you're wondering what it is, you have some storage space, but very limited storage space because they have to fit in somewhere, those electronic parts. But overall, um, I should say it's a pretty big space in the trunk here. All right, I just take out that protection so you can look one more time in the trunk, the way it looks. Also, what I notice is that the trunk protection is very light and very small. You can take it out very easy and this is very important. I like very much the square entrance. Look at the angles, super square, super nice. So we can fit in items without any problem. So it's pretty big surprisingly big for the size of the car is the entrance otherwise as you saw before uh, you don't have a flat floor now if you want to fold down the seats you have to fold it 60 40 you don't have the possibility to fold the middle part so you have to do it just like that and once you fold it you will notice that you have around 10 to 15 centimeters a step there so yeah maybe for some of you uh, it's a disadvantage but from my point of view i think it's more than enough anyway to carry a lot of items with the car even though it's a small compact crossover suv i think you have plenty 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 of space in the trunk and if you go on the side you can see from here as well uh, this is the way it looks and this is the space right here check this out pretty good space and on the legs room you still have some space left to put different items so yeah it's pretty good here we have one window from one piece if you fold it down you can fold it until here so it left like four centimeters one thing important is the fact that on the rear you have normal glass but on the front you have double glassing i will show you a little bit later here on the upper side you have plastic in this area but where it's really matter here on the armrest you have alcantara in super good quality you can see the stitches stitches here super super good here you have the buttons lock and unlock button you have a speaker up here you have down here some storage space for a bottle or something like that and then here you open the door just like that you just press this button unlock the door but if you don't have electricity and you're locked inside the car you just pull it like that two times so this is emergency unlock so that's something to keep in mind now going inside the car relatively okay the entrance is not huge but relatively fine and once you go inside there you can see how much space it is and i will go also with you to show you a little bit better the space now when it comes to quality inside the car it's just phenomenal and look at the stitches the different interesting trim stitches that they add here you have alcantara in the middle you have this leather here and you can see the trim it feels really really good quality and also down here the same story and also here isofix for child you can install two child seats in the middle you don't have an armrest this is a little bit of disadvantage but it's fine also here some leather and in the middle you have two usb right here usb c quite useful behind the front seat you have soft leather so that's great because you don't have that plastic there let me go inside the car i just adjust the seat in my driving position so this is my driving position and this one it's basically almost the same maybe a little bit backward and i'm 173 centimeters and this is the space behind myself so from my point of view pretty good space at least for me 173 centimeters is quite good i can stretch a little bit the legs under the front seat and on the higher end i have like four fingers for me at least it's pretty good if you are a very very tall person you have to check it out but yeah i would say it's pretty fine anyway the car is pretty compact so it's understandable somehow but yeah even though i think it's it's relatively fine visibility it's okay it's good it's pretty good not bad and also the quality here it's quite nice if i go in the middle now I'm a little bit taller, down here is not super comfy, on the back it's okay, here I have like four fingers I should say, uh, let's say three and a half, on my legs I have yeah, a little bit less space, maybe three fingers, maybe two here, and if I stretch my hand, not completely, not completely, it's not so fun for three person in the back here, maybe for short trips will be good, but for long trips not so, not so good. Uh, up here the quality of the roof from 1 to 10 I will give it an 
let's say seven like that it's pretty fine you have handle you have hook here you have led light up here oh those look nice wow those look really nice they look really expensive i like that and we will go in the front to talk about all those stuff dashboard what i like about the dashboard is that it's completely flat that allow you to have a lovely visibility on the windshield this is incredible in terms of visibility it's very good and otherwise simple design but modern with a lot of high quality and i like it i definitely like let's go in the front you have two windows one fix one big and one small fix here if you fold down the windows i will show you before we have double glassing on the front this is important to point out up here this time you have soft material everywhere here it's kind of a rubber soft material then you have this alcantara that looks phenomenal here in the in the middle it looks really nice a little bit higher you have some chrome here you have the buttons to adjust electric the mirrors you have lock and unlock and then you have the buttons for the windows that feel such a good quality and lock the windows and the same handle to unlock here the door some storage space relatively small here you have a speaker and this is the entrance in the front much bigger than on the rear and you can see also here the quality and the seats the same same material seats same leather with alcantara but beautiful design and they are pretty comfortable sitting on them and they are super comfy you have also those side support that hold you pretty well here you have electric adjustable seats so from here you can adjust the seats in every position you want plus the lumbar position that's great pedals are normal here you have some storage space you can see you can put your phone you have a usb plus a 12 volt port super useful down there so they are super super useful a little bit higher here you open the tank door plus the trunk you have to set the position of the seats you have free position to save the electric seats here you have the trip odometer and then you have the brightness of the screen from here a little bit higher you have this alcantara and here you have soft look how soft and nice it is everywhere on the dash almost everywhere it's soft material very good quality and also the vents feel quite nice let me adjust the seat a little bit first now the steering wheel it is manual adjustable up down left right forward super simple like that visibility around the windows is just very good nothing to complain also on the windshield i told you very good visibility around the car even in the back it has a little bit of blind spot in the corner you can still use the reverse camera that i will show you in a second down here you have this alcantara alcantara here super good quality on the center console probably one of the most high quality center console and then you open it up adjust it like that how cool is this you can basically adjust it forward backward but you can also open it like that to put a lot of items down there look at this huge items huge space and also here you have some space for the things and you can close it so nice i really like that i think it's it's super super high quality really cool and in the middle you have this gray mat that looks nice doesn't leave fingerprints that's very important you have traction control echo mode the car can drive in echo mode and normal mode it has only two driving modes echo and normal then you have the ev mode that allow you to drive only in electric mode if you have enough battery so if you have enough battery you can drive in electric mode for let's say a few maybe one kilometer or a few minutes until it doesn't have energy uh, this is the stalk a very small stalk like a finger but very nice and easy to to use you can put it in drive or in s mode if you put it in sport mode you have also some pedals here to change the gears kind of the gears because the cvt doesn't have ones but yeah kind of let's say simulate uh, changing it from those pedals here uh, it has electronic handbrake auto hold function very very useful a little bit higher uh, cup holders and some storage space here and here you can charge your phone wireless and this is very important you have this space for a phone so you can uh, charge it right there so pretty useful all those places here and storage spaces are super useful uh, on the dashboard you saw before super high quality here uh, you have this alcantara soft material everywhere uh, those are the vents good quality here you press this like that open the glow box pretty big glow box to put different items right there and then you have some physical button here for example for park assist you press this button and you can the car help you to park then you have this button that actually activate the 
uh, cameras, 360 degrees camera, the same as you saw in the Toyota. You can see whatever happened with the car, around the car. So super cool stuff. You can see from outside, you can see from the interior of the car. So super useful. And then you have two USB-C, very useful. And the physical button for hazard light, perfectly positioned. It. A little bit higher, you have all the controllers uh, for the climatic system and physical button for the temperature. If you set the temperature, let's say, let me put it to one. Well, let me, or doesn't matter. Let's see, two, level two. And from here, you set the temperature for you. From here, for the passenger, you can also synchronize that. And then you have also the button for defrosting. You can defrost also the mirrors and the windows, defrosting the front and auto. And here is the volume knob quite nice I like the fact that they keep these climatic controllers here it's a combination between touch buttons and physical button for climatic system you have also heated steering wheel to position very useful and here on the screen will always stay on the down part those climatic controls and this is so important because you have on the screen the multimedia but you have also the climatic controllers on the down part and that's very important for me and it's very easy to adjust and set it up so yeah I, I definitely like it and then you have heated seats for you and the passenger free position you have also the climatic if you want to go a little bit uh, further you can see that the car is able to defrost the windshield this is the button for the windshield so you can de-icer the windshield if I can say like that that's super super useful and Another thing, I have to move the car because someone want to live with that car. So I can go a little bit on the front so they can have space or, yeah, just like that. Ah, it's fine. Okay, so let me put it like that and then end up the video. And the great part is that here you have all the climatic controllers and you can control it very simple. Uh, just like that and you can go uh, also uh, super fast while you're driving and this is crazy crazy important now if you go to multimedia you will notice that it's basically kind of the same multimedia with a little bit of graphic change as you find it on the newest Toyota cars so for example you have here on the left side all the shortcuts you have the navigation here that it's pretty good uh, and also relatively responsive so um, you can see that once you set a destination it will go and load quite quite fast and that's very important if you press go you can go that it's pretty fast this is really important okay really important now if you press this button here you can see that you can leave down the climatic parts so you can leave only this area so you can make it a little bit bigger that's also important otherwise the same controllers for the um, navigation system but i will try to make a separate video and i will go in every single feature now here you have the media here you have the telephone here you have the vehicle and here it shows you the nice energy flow while you're driving what happened with the energy with the motors and which kind of when recuperate when use which of them work and so on it's very important then you have the driver assistance systems with a lot of safety features come the car like pre-collision system lane changing assist proactive driver assist you have rear vehicle approach indication lane departure read traffic speed limits reading or traffic sign assist read all the the traffic signs almost all the traffic signs blind spot monitoring front cross alert and then on the second page rear crossing traffic alert parking support brake rear camera detection safety exit and so on and if you go to customize you can go even deeper to driver support you have also here a few extra very important safety features and it has so many so many overtaking prevention it has so many safety features i was so surprised to see how many safety features this car come with and yeah it didn't come with even more safety features as yaris cross and here you have notification and back to those safety features then you have the trip information when you find all the, the consumption on the last trips energy flow you saw it before tire pressure you find it here vehicle alert and customize if you go to customize you can customize the head-up display for example uh, and you can adjust the brightness you can adjust the position you have the meters here 
EV indicator brake light, you have the, oh, I pressed by mistake. Uh, where were I? Tire pressure, customize, I, I were here. You have then the lights, you have the illumination. You can change the illumination color. For example, you have plenty of colors here to change from uh, for ambient light. Then you have the door controls. You can see how many. And then you have the board exit. But on the door controls, you have also, you can set up also the um, back doors, the trunk and all that stuff. So yeah, pretty nice. Plenty, plenty of settings here. Then you have the next one is the apps and notification. And then you have the settings of the car, the main settings of the car. And here you have the personal info, Bluetooth device. You can connect your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto to the car. I will show you that in a separate video. General settings, accessibility, date and time, keyboard, language and units. You change it from here. You have also Wi-Fi, display. You can change from here the display, the brightness, and so on, so it can look a little bit better. And so the contrast is not that good. Contrast, we can leave it here on the half. It looks nice like that. Otherwise, you have sound and media. Here you have also all the sound settings. And you have voice command, vehicle customization. You saw it before. And yeah, that's it. Software update. The car is able to do software updates over there. So in general, this is it guys, it's that simple, you can also search, for example, in your area, different yeah, uh, gas station and so on. Going forward, also the stalks behind the steering wheel feel pretty good quality and I, I pretty much like them. Uh, also, I like very much this digital screen, it's the same digital screen as Toyota use it also on their cars and it's so nice and you can customize it in so many ways. If you look at the head-up display right now, the thing is like that, here on the steering wheel, by the way, the steering wheel has good quality, uh, nice grip and kind of the same as Lexus use uses with good good quality and pretty soft now the thing is you have kind of a physical buttons but in the same time uh, touch buttons here and also here the same story but the thing is that you cannot adjust those things directly you have to look to the head-up display and then from the head-up display basically adjust different uh, different settings i don't know if you see Sorry, there I'm having but trouble from there you. you can check this out from there you can change different settings so if you want to change the autopilot and cruise control settings you can do it from here if you change it like that you will change the display and from here you go to the display and you see you change the display and you change also the different views there. So all you do, you have to do it through this head-up display. And also on the left side, the same story. You have to do those stuff like the changing the music stations and a voice command and so on. You have to do it from the head-up display. And on the left side, the same story. It's a little bit complicated in the beginning. So I mean, you, you need a little bit of time to get through it and to use it a little bit until you get around it. But once you get around it, you will understand it, how it works. And then all you have to do is just look uh, while you're driving, look at the head-up display and then just with your finger you move around here. And now I will show you also in how many ways you can customize the digital cockpit because you have to do it, of course, through the display in front. So right now you can see you can change different views right there, one, two, three, and the same as on the... Uh, for example, on the other new Toyota cars, you can change to see the map in the middle. You can see the first map. You can see the drive support. You can, you can see nothing in the middle. You can choose what you like to see in the middle, but you can choose what you like to see on the left side. So driver support, navigation, audio, driver info, energy monitoring. And then you can choose also on the right side what you would like to see. The G-Force, the blank, fuel economy. EV ratio, driver support or navigations. And that's that's quite, quite important from my point of view uh, because you have so many customization and you can change so many things to see in the front there. And I also uh, try to do a separate video also where I explain you how those uh, things work and I will go even more in details uh, with all this multimedia system. But keep in mind, I think it's it's pretty pretty good probably one of the most 
customizable screen in this class and it's it's much more useful than what was before so probably i think this is the best digital cockpit that uh, lexus had until now so yeah i like it anyway pretty cool the only thing i wish because you see here is the brightness you can you can pull the brightness all the way up and it's still not bright enough and i wish it has a little bit more brightness added to it but otherwise this is it a little bit higher i said in my test drive video visibility in the mirror is just perfect in the back on the upper mirror good visibility on the side mirrors uh, up here you have a microphone a handle led light vanity mirror quite nice also super good quality up here you have the button for doors sos button and you have also some led lights around here that are super fancy otherwise i think i cover almost everything guys i don't know if i miss something here's the power button and here you have those vans that feel quite good I think I cover almost everything. I don't know if I miss something, ask me down below in the comments. I will try to answer to you. I have a mega limited time. I have just one, one and a half hour to do two videos. I have like two and a half hour to do review and test drives and all the videos. And this kind of the first time when I get the car, so I have it for three hours today. I, I'm on rush, so that's why probably I miss some information, useful information. So um, yeah, guys, I hope, I still hope I get you some useful information in this video. If you wanna see the car, test drive the car, buy the car, check out Emil Frey in Bern. I will leave the link in the description also on the screen. So definitely they are super nice and they will help you with every single problem and question you have. So if you wanna test drive it, check them out. Also from my point of view, after I drive the car a little bit earlier, after I stay with it for more time even though today is the first time when i see it and i go through all the settings and i drive it i think it's a great car i think probably one of the best car in this class and why i said that is because first of all it used this amazing full hybrid from toyota yeah toyota for those of you that didn't know lexus is the premium brand of toyota and it used this incredible full hybrid system that i think it's reliable as you probably know lexus it's one of the most reliable car company when it comes to engines and so on and yeah it's a reliable car it drives smooth economy it's great consumption is great efficiency is very good price it's relatively good for what it offers it's pretty good good quality car and it looks nice it's a beautiful car it has nice lines nice design and it's lexus i mean lexus it's premium it's nice it feels nice to be here and yeah i like it totally like it it drives also quite nice so definitely guys if you find this video useful don't forget to like share subscribe thank you for watching really appreciate stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys